Hello! Tents are normally classified into like three or four seasons. But can you use a three season tent in the winter and can you use a four season tent in the summer? So what really are the differences between the three and four season tents? In this video, I'm going to use the French brand Samaya uh, to show you some of the difference. This here is a Samaya Inspire 2 and it's Samaya's three season offering. And this here is a Samaya 2 and it's one of their four season tent range. So a three season tent is generally designed for use in spring, summer and autumn. And it is designed to withstand the weather that is generally associated with those seasons. So the typical conditions that a four season tent you know, will need to protect you in you know, will be where there is you know, snow or heavy snowfall, um, high winds in more exposed locations, uh, heavy rain and possibly even hail. Although obviously you can get heavy rain and hail in the summer. So to begin with let's look at the differences in pole structure of, of these two tents. So this tent, uh, the Samaya 2, uses a, a basic dome structure. You know, so you've got two crossing poles and each of the poles are guide actually in, in two positions uh, at, at the top and sort of kind of in the middle. Now that just actually, when it's guide out, it actually means that the pole is very, very strong. With this, with this design, um, you've also got great strength in the roof. You know, and the roof itself is a dome shape. So if you get snow on the top of that roof, the roof is strong enough to handle a weight of snow, but also the snow will actually fall down the sides off it, so it hasn't got a flat roof. The walls of the tent are also quite steep. And again, if you have snow, you know, building up here, that's not really putting much of a weight on the wall. Whereas if the actual wall is kind of at more of an angle, while that way in some ways be a bit more aerodynamic, the problem is you get a much greater weight of snow build up on that and it puts more stress on the poles. So if we look at some of the differences here in this Maya Inspire 2, which is the three season tent. So this tent, instead of the poles crossing at the top and putting strength in the roof of the tent, this tent actually has strength on the side walls and that's actually pretty good for, for wind but it means that the top of the tent is slightly flatter and it could have a greater build up of snow so it's not really designed to withstand the heavy snow load that a four season tent would be. So the side wall here on the Inspire is actually quite steep you know and that, that actually helps with the internal volume and it will help you know with the weight of snow against it and you know the side wall is pretty strong but you know the main weakness of this tent for snow loads would actually be in the roof and it's not designed as a four season tent. So because four season tents you're going to be out in harsher weather they are designed to actually seal out some of that weather and they generally do that by having a fly sheet that actually comes closer to the ground so it seals out you know, heavy rain possibly hitting the ground here and bouncing inside the actual vestibule or actually inside the tent. So the fly sheet will come closer down to the tent, down to the ground, sorry, just to give it that bit of extra protection. It's, it's very, very personal to, to certain uh, tent manufacturers, but some manufacturers like to have like a, a snow or a stone sort of balance on the tent. And that actually gives you a further seal, you know, against inclement weather. But also you can pile up snow on this or even place stones in this to actually, you know, really, really secure the tent. And it's also quite handy if you find it difficult, if the ground's hard and you find it difficult to get your pegs in. Now the vestibule of the, of the Samaya Inspire 2 then has a greater gap between the sort of, uh, between it and the ground. So that will allow, you know, better airflow and ventilation. But also if the weather's really harsh it lets some of the weather in as well um, so that's just a, a design that's optimized for ventilation as opposed to actual weather sealing so while i'm here on the for sort of a stable area i'm just going to talk about fabrics you know three season tents are designed to be lighter weight and i personally love getting a three season tent out in the summer because you can really really reduce the weight and one of the ways they do that is because the fabrics are not ex as exposed to harsh conditions it's by having lighter weight fabrics it's going to be hard to see on the two tents here, but basically this fabric here is half the thickness that, the, that Samaya has on their four season tent. Now it's also nice to see Samaya here have kind of got like covered door zips and that just protects the zipper, you know, which is good. Uh, and it's just like Velcro attachments and they have that actually on both their three and four season models. Now I'll show you something in a moment, you know, regarding the sort of uh, the materials used in the tents. Um, and that's really how much mess that there would be, you know, for ventilation. So this tent here uh, really doesn't have very much mesh at all because it's trying to seal the weather out and also help make the tent a little bit warmer through lack of airflow. Um, but you then have other venting options, you know, like here, for example, you know, so that can be opened right up and 
you know, and roll back. And there's also a really good hood that kind of covers over this, you know. So if it was raining, and certainly not driving rain, but if the rain was coming down relatively vertical, um, you know, you can have this open here, you know, for, you know, a little bit of, of extra ventilation. And then there's also ventilation in underneath, you know, this hood as well. So I did mention earlier, sort of regarding the ventilation, uh, the mesh and the Samaya Inspire 2 here. Samaya have just made the decision that they're going to use mesh on both of the doors. So this door is mesh and then the door behind, which I've got rolled up in the moment, is mesh too. And that just allows for much, much greater ventilation. Uh, so it will let some hot air out of the tent if it's warm in summer. But the detriment is obviously in the winter, you know, it allows cool air and more drafts to get into the tent. So you can see now, I mean, this is, I'll take this opportunity just to, to highlight something else. Um, the vestibule in this tent, you know, is quite low and that's designed for um, bad weather performance. You know, the lower it is, the less wind that it catches. But the door on the inside here, you know, again, is a solid door and that's just really to seal out and give you more weather protection. I talked a little bit earlier about tent design uh, and the pole sort of structure, but also we got to look at the actual, what the poles are made from. And if you're looking for a four season tent, definitely go for an aluminium pole. Um, if you can, and the manufacturer are using, are using DIC poles, I can absolutely recommend them as, as the industry standard. But it's good to see here, Samaya on their three season tents are also using aluminium poles, and that's just lets you see that it's a good quality tent. So the number of guy out points is also something you should look for on, on a tent. Uh, and I suppose to some extent, the more the better. Um, but, you know, particularly if they're at pole crossing points, you know, that makes that point really, really solid on the tent. And also the more crossing points that, the more pole crossing points a, a tent has, that's kind of like an into like a geodesic structure. The poles then get support from each other as opposed to from guy lines. But I mean, this is quite well guyed out. There are sort of kind of four higher guys and two guys here at the side. Uh, so there's good guy lines on this, even though it's only a three season tent. So the guying points here, I mean, if you're using the vestibule, this will guy out. Uh, or if you're not using the vestibule and the vestibule's off, you know, you can guy it out, you know, here, you know, as well. So each pole is supported kind of at, in two places by the guy points. And it's actually really good if the guys here kind of like wrap around the pole, so that means the pole's held really, really rigid and it's very, very solid. The four season vestibule then here has a twin gang point, you know, at the side and then also a gang point at the front. And I haven't seen many tents actually do that, so I think that's a good idea uh, because it's, it's sometimes you will want to actually pitch the tent with the vestibule into the wind. So there you have it, uh, some of my thoughts on three and four season tents. Uh, but which one should you buy? In all honesty, um, it, it's very, very difficult and it really just depends on the type of camping that you're going to do. I think, you know, from my camping experience, there's many, many, many times I've been out in uh, and get caught out in harsher weather or worse weather conditions than what the weather forecast was. And, you know, it's always nice to have something that you've got a bit of peace of mind in and you know that you're kind of a little bit more over-prepared as opposed to under-prepared. Now there is a trend, you know, there's a lot of people buy three season tents, take them out in winter and go, yeah, yeah, I've had no problems. My tent has withstood this, my tent has withstood that. But you know what, sooner or later, you know, the odds are going to stack up against you, you know, and the reality is that if you're going to be out and you're going to be camping in winter conditions, you know, you absolutely need a four season tent. And I would, rec rec I would recommend that you buy a four season tent from a reputable brand. Now there are always some level of compromise in tents, um, you know, so four season tents are primarily designed to seal out weather. Um, three season tents are, divine, are designed to give, to seal out less weather and allow more through flow of air. So there will always be certain conditions that each type of tent will really, really excel in. And there just are trade-offs and compromises, sacrifices in one area for gains in another. Three season tents will be lighter weight and slightly less durable uh, and better ventilated. 
four season tents will be a little bit heavier. Um, sometimes they're, they're, it depends on how much mesh you use in the tent, but sometimes there's other more complex ventilation options, which actually make the ventilation in them very, very good and probably close to three season tents. Whereas three season tents will just simply use more mesh to achieve that ventilation and not actual specific vents, although some do have vents too. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time.